name is Susie. Welcome to the farm. Today's video is going to be a furniture flipping video. I got this table and chairs a while back. They've been sitting in my basement collecting dust. I got it for $80 along with the hutch that I already redid and sold a month or so ago and I've just been putting this table and chairs off. Um, it did have a leaf but i left it at the yard sale accidentally never went back and got it so i'm just going to do it without the leaf and just with four chairs even though i have six the first thing you want to do anytime you're doing any kind of furniture flip is completely clean your pieces top to bottom i'm using dawn and hot water here and it is super gross that was just after one wipe i cleaned it up really good and then i'm going to take it outside and do two coats of a shellac sprayer spray shellac because i know beyond a doubt that this is definitely going to bleed through because i do plan on painting everything white If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I do not prefer spray painting anything. I prefer brush painting, but I've waited too late and I need this table and chairs done for my fall booth reset. So, and it is just much easier in the long run to go ahead and spray when you have a bunch of chairs. It would have taken me a week of hand painting because it's gonna take three coats. It would have taken me a week to hand paint this. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock this out in one afternoon. I have never used this paint before, but Ace Hardware was the closest thing to me, and they had this Magnolia Home chalk paint. Um, I don't really measure when I am thinning my paint down. I usually just, I think it's about two parts paint, one part water, and I just make it, I don't know, kind of the consistency of uh, milk, I guess you would say, um, and it seems to work out fine. It, it takes me a little bit to get it spraying just right, but I usually can just adjust the spray. Um, so I ended up getting this table and chairs sprayed in one afternoon with two and a half coats of paint. Before bringing it back in, I also did two coats of a spray sealer just on the top to make it really durable. I am going to be putting a transfer from the Cotswolds transfer booklet. It comes with these two very large pieces. One has a pig and one has a sheep. I'm going to put the sheep on this table and here I am just kind of getting it centered where I want it and measuring it out to make sure it is even. If you pay attention, you will notice the mistake that I make and you will definitely be able to see the results of that mistake soon. But I'm just getting it all centered up here and then I am going to take the backing off each sheet and rub it in and 
This took me a good 30 minutes of rubbing, and let me tell you, my arm was tired. Doing a small transfer is super easy, but when it comes to doing a large one like this, it will wear you out. And all these fine details, every bit of it had to be down good on my piece. If you notice the mistake, here's where it happened. In the measuring, I forgot to account for the overlapping of the transfer pages here. So I'm definitely too far over to the left side there and have too much space left on the right. It drove me crazy that it wasn't centered. So I came up with another plan to kind of disguise that fact. And I think it worked out pretty well. Finally got the whole transfer down. See my mistakes here. Um, I'm gonna think about this a little while, and while I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and reupholster these chairs. I also saved you guys the painstaking process of removing all the old. There was three layers of upholster staples, and this one even had some nails thrown in. So Mason helped me remove all the old, and then I'm just gonna reupholster with this um, buffalo check pattern. Y'all know this is my favorite, especially for the fall and holiday season. And I think it's just a classic year round, black and white, you cannot go wrong in my book. Um, so I just cut off the excess here, make the corners look nice and pretty, and then staple it all down good, cutting off all the excess fabric. Okay, so I've had some time to think about it while doing the chairs, and since I love the buffalo check so much, I decided to use the new pretty and plaid stamps to put the buffalo check on the top of the table too, to match the chairs and camouflage the fact that my transfer was not centered. So I'm gonna use paint instead of ink so I can wipe off if I make any mistakes because the top of this is sealed. So I should be able to wipe off any mistakes that I made and I did have to in a couple of cases and I'm just gonna these stamps are so cool because they just line up perfectly all you gotta do is especially with this one you make sure all your lines are going in the same direction and then you just stamp away one right after the other they're continuous and I did this all the way around the table and I just rolled the paint onto the stamp with a brayer and got it matched up and lined up. If I got some on the transfer, I was able to just take a wet rag and wipe that off and 
any mistakes that I made, I could wipe off. There were some heavier places where the paint was a little bit heavier and some where it was a little, little bit lighter. Uh, we'll fix that with some sandpaper in a little while, but I really like the way it turned out. It's kind of busy, but I love busy sometimes and I love the way that this tabletop turned out. While the tabletop is drying, I'm going to move back to the chairs and I'm going to wet distress them with a rag and also use sandpaper. There's lots of lines, lots of distressing. So I'm gonna get all four chairs distressed and the seats back on them. Y'all have to excuse the mess here in my basement. It's never ending. I'm working on getting all the brick painted at least on one side. And then the other side, the disaster side, I've got to get shelving up and get all that organized. But I'll get it all done eventually. Rome wasn't built in a day. I just have to keep telling myself that. Once the tabletop has had plenty of time to dry, I'm gonna come back with a 220 grit sanding block here, and I'm just gonna smooth it all out and get all the, where you just can't feel the paint, um, especially in some of those heavier areas. It will lighten it up some, but really not much. So I'm just gonna sand it all smooth to the touch carefully and then wipe it down with a dry paper towel. I don't want to use anything wet because it will reactivate this paint. And once I have it all sanded down smooth, I put four coats of a top coat polyacrylic on it. And this table and chairs is done. It's small enough, it'll fit in any kitchen, and I just love how it turned out. It is perfect with my fall reset for my booth. And I'm really hoping it doesn't sell too fast because it looks so great in here right now. What do y'all think of the transformation of this table and chairs? Let me know what you think. Is it super noticeable now that the transfer is not in the middle of the table or does it maybe give it a little bit of character? I'm really nervous about it, but I think it looks okay. Thank y'all so much for joining me today for this furniture flip. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and come back. I do lots of DIY, thrift flips, thrift shopping, and I have a booth as you can see. So thank y'all so much for watching.